Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how you can take a bootable Linux flash drive and I'm going to be using a live version, but I'm going to take that flash drive and I'm going to boot up a Mac computer to it, specifically an early 2011 MacBook Pro. And that way I'm going to show you how you can get it to boot in case you try to turn yours on and it just goes to a black screen. I'm going to show you what change you need to make in order for it to boot so that it won't give you any problems booting into the live version of your Linux distro. So let's go over to the MacBook Pro now and I'm going to show you all the steps that you have to take in order to get your live version of your bootable Linux flash drive up and running off of the flash drive on your Mac computer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to plug in the power adapter to your Mac, whether it's a laptop or a desktop. And then you want to take your bootable Linux flash drive that you've already created. And if you haven't created one yet, you can click the link right up here to watch me help you create one. And then you're going to take that flash drive and you're going to go ahead and plug it into the USB port on the computer. Now you want to do this with the computer being off because now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the computer on. And as soon as we turn it on, we're going to hold down the option key. Now on your desktop, the power button may be on the back it may be on the bottom. It may be in different locations. So just look for the power button on the laptop. It's going to be in the top right corner and I'm going to turn it on and then immediately hold down the option key and you keep holding it down until you get a list of options. And so in just a moment, you'll see those options and I'm going to show you, you can boot to the one that's on the flash drive. Okay. So now, as you can see, I have a few options here. Well, obviously the one that I want to boot from is the Linux bootable flash drive, which is the EFI boot. And it has a little icon that looks like USB. So I'm going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard and I'm going to move it over and I'm going to click on it by pressing enter. Now when it boots up, it's going to go to this page right here and it's automatically going to boot to the MX 23.5 X64 Linux if I don't do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the process and go up to the top and select that and then press enter. Now, if you haven't made any changes, you might have a problem like I'm going to show you right here where it tries to boot up and it'll go through these steps and then it just goes to a black screen and it won't do anything. So you may be wondering, well, what are we going to do to fix that? Well, I'm going to show you. I just wanted you to see this first because I know a lot of people have this issue where they'll try to boot it and it'll just go to the black screen and they can't get any further. So. As soon as that finishes, which it looks like it's done right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the Mac off. And the way you can do that is just by holding the power button in the top right corner and just continue to hold it for about 10 seconds. And it's going to turn the Mac back off. And then we're going to go back through the same steps again, except we're going to make one change. So I'm going to turn it back on and I'm going to hold the option key. Now here, as soon as it gives me the boot options, I'm still going to select the EFI boot and press enter. So now I'm going to move over to the EFI boot and I'm going to press enter. And it's going to bring me back to the MX Linux boot menu. Now here, what we want to do is we want to go to the advanced options which is right here. Now it may be different for different distros of Linux in order to get to some of those special advanced options, but you want to go to your advanced options and then press enter. And then you want to look for where you can tell it for this next feature, which mine happens to be in the fail safe options. So I'm going to go and select fail safe and press enter to open it up. And then I want to choose the fail safe no mode set. 
Now what's happening is it's trying to load the drivers for the video card, but the drivers are not completely compatible with the computer itself. And so that's what's causing it to go to a black screen. So if you tell it to do no mode set, it's just going to use generic drivers, but they will work until you can get the Linux installed on your Mac. And then you can install the appropriate NVIDIA or ATI drivers that you need that are specific to your Mac computer. And again, it's going to be different depending on if you go way back to a 2006 Mac or if you go way forward to a 2019 Mac. So it just depends on which Mac you have as to which drivers you need to install. But this would get it to where you could at least boot into the installer, get it up and running so that you can see it and you can actually test it out if you have the live version. And then once I've selected that, I'm going to go back down here, select back to main menu and press enter. And then I'm going to go up to the very top and select MX-23.5x64 and I'm going to press enter. And now if you'll notice when it finishes booting, it's actually going to go into the MX Linux interface, the GUI interface. And so this is going to be fantastic. This is how you could fix it for your computer as well. And it should work for any of the other distros if you want to use one of them. You'll just have to look for those advanced options and make sure you've selected no mode set. And then it's going to pull up regardless of what video card you have because it's going to default back to those generic display drivers, which is going to work on any of the Macs that you have, it, especially if you're having problems with it getting to pull up. And so there you go. Now, instead of a black screen, I have the MX Linux Live pulled up. Now, this is a full-fledged Linux distro that you can sit there and just test out. All you have to do is connect it to the Wi-Fi or connect an Ethernet cable, and then you can go ahead and start using it. You can pull up the web browser. They have Firefox automatically installed. You can go ahead and install it if you want to, but you could sit there and literally just test it out all day long and use it right off of the flash drive. You don't even have to install it to the Mac itself. So for some reason you had a Mac that had a bad hard drive, but the Mac itself was still good. You could still boot it off of the flash drive and use it to test it out and see if everything's working. Test the sound, test the Wi-Fi, test the ethernet connection, the USB ports. You test everything on it except for the hard drive. But if you'll notice, if I go over here to the tools and then I scroll all the way down to the very bottom, there's an option to go to the quick system info. And if I maximize this for you, there you go. You can see that I'm running an Intel Core i7-2820QM which I know is not a very fast processor, but it runs pretty decent with the MX Linux. And if you'll notice down here under graphics, it has an Intel second generation core processor for the graphics, which is actually just an Intel HD Graphics 3000. And then below it is device number two, and it says AMD Radeon, and it has a bunch of them listed. Well, the one I actually have in this computer is the 6750M video card that has one gigabyte of video RAM. So it's not a half bad computer. It'll run MX Linux pretty well. And I can go in there and I can pull up videos. I can play a few light games. I can do any of the web browsing that I would want to. Any word processing, spreadsheets, anything you could possibly think of. It's going to do most of it with this MX Linux. So I'm really excited to install this on here. And I'm going to create another video showing you how to do that. But this is how you could get your Linux distro to boot off of the flash drive if you're having problems where it goes to a black screen and it just won't boot. Just remember to use that no mode set and it's going to pull it right up for you. And if you do have any problems with it, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you with it. But this should fix it for the vast majority of Linux distros out there. So I hope that was helpful on how you can get your Linux bootable flash drive 
to boot up on your Intel Mac, and you can either use the live version or you can install it on your Mac. If you do have any questions about how to get it up on your Mac, please let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video, topic, article, anything that you would like me to make a video on, just let me know down below in the comments as well and I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this helpful and you want to support this channel, I included a link down below in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I boot my Intel Mac to a bootable Linux flash drive in either the live version or the installer and I'll be more than happy to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.